My dear sister in Christ, you have completed your years in fast profession. Are you willing to promise in the presence of God and of your sisters to remain a constant, faithful, and lifelong member of the Order of the Holy Paraclete? I am willing. Have you considered the obligation laid on this Order and on each of its members to seek always and in all things the glory of God? I have considered them and desire above everything else to learn to do God's will. You promise to be bound by the rule and constitution of this order and observe its customs for the rest of your life. I do. Are you resolved to maintain until your life's end your profession, poverty, celibacy and obedience in this order? I am. God be my helper. Sister Helena, you seek a great thing. God, grant you steadfastness in your intention. May you grow in the fellowship with your sisters, sharing with them all goods, spiritual as well as material. May you grow in purity of heart singleness of mind, and that with your sisters you may be free to serve with the universe of love. May you grow in the fellowship of mutual trust, accepting generosity, and face the decisions made by the community and by those in authority. Never lack in zeal, but keep your spiritual father. Serve the Lord, be joyful in love, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. So go forward in the name of Christ. In your life profession to Almighty God, and sign your name as witness of your faith in his vocation and your intention to follow it to the end. Establish me according to your word, that I may live, and let me not be disappointed of my hope. O oh, establish me according to your word, that I may live, and let me not be disappointed of my hope. O oh, establish me according to your word, that I may live, and let me not be disappointed of my hope.
Bless our Lord and stand over us. She who wears it may do so in token of the vows with which she has bound herself to you. Grant that she may be found faithful in the promises she has made through Jesus Christ our Lord. Receive the knotted girdle as a sign that you are bound to Christ by the vows of poverty, celibacy, and obedience. happens, I always remind you what Jesus said to Peter. You know, when you are young, you choose where to go, but as you grow, somebody will go over you and bury you. <laughs> <laughs> Receive this ring, the token of lifelong fidelity to God and dedication within this order. send your Holy Spirit to be the life and light of your church. Give to our sister the desire to pray, knowledge of your wisdom and readiness to obey your will. Open our heart the riches of your grace and encouraged by our sisters, she may bring forth the fruit of the Spirit in love and joy and peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Jesus. 
Jesus, Lord, you himself, the power of the Lord Jesus, strengthen you in his service. The joy of the Lord Jesus with your heart. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Go and your soul, and after that, I want you to go and meet every sister. Is that all right? That's an order. You can't. That's a way, that's a way of them being received fully in the community. Is that all right? Is that good news? Okay. <laughs>